YouTube, YouTube. What's happening? It's your boy D Prez. Back with another story time video today. If you uh are tuned into this video and maybe you didn't see the last short that I put out, uh in the title of that short, you will notice that in that video I am on shrooms. Now you maybe can't tell physically by looking at me, but it's in the title. I'm not lying. But anyway, that brings me to the point of this video today. Uh, doing shrooms at work. Or being under the influence of shrooms while at work. This video today is brought to you by psilocybin. Uh, gather around people for a story. Grab your drink, grab your smoke. I don't judge, but... Uh, I don't do the pills and all the hard shit. I have my time with certain shit. And, uh, you know, stick to your weed. Stick to your psychedelics, man. Keep it natural. Straight from the earth. But doing them at work, I don't recommend. Even if you consider yourself like me. Maybe not a professional, uh, but working up there. You know, I can handle myself pretty well under acid and or shrooms. Or combination of their of the two. This particular time at work, because there has been a few times where at various jobs where I've been under the influence of uh, acid and or shrooms. Uh, but this particular day, I had a little homie, or this particular job, I should say, I had a little homie. Uh, he was a former addict. You know, he's a young dude to me, like pretty much damn near just getting out of high school, maybe like maybe 19, 20. I don't know. I just turned 30 and this was some years ago. So something like that. He was young, but he was cool and he was a plug. He sold weed, he sold other shit and he did what he did. Now, we cool. He worked on my line, you know, in, in the building. We all the way in the, in the back on our line, me, him, and some other people. We all cool. You know, everybody in that bitch down there smoked weed or did something. So everybody was cool pretty much. But, you know, you got your little crew, your little line crew. So he he tell me one day he could find me some, some Lucy, some acid. So bet. Get to work the day he got it. He slide me the shit. Now, in my mind, I'm thinking, hey, I'm going to eat the shit an hour before get off work you know i had a 40 minute drive home so i'm figuring you know i eat an hour before work i might start feeling it you know and, but it ain't gonna be too heavy i could be able to drive home by the time i get home i'll probably be smacked <clears throat> now 11 o'clock rolls around i think we we're getting off close to midnight or something to, and you know for the shift i think we got off 11 30 midnight or some shit like that so Getting off time is coming around, so I eat it. Finishing up work, we know we vibing, doing our thing. They let motherfuckers play music. You can bring big ass boom boxes and speakers in that bitch, man. We was rocking in that motherfucker all the time. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, uh, some time goes by, and now we now we getting ready to leave. Insert record scratch. Nope. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling good. I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. Now, now the homie that, that gave me the shit, because of his prior drug use, or maybe he had been having it his whole life occur, I don't know, but he had seizures. Excuse me, y'all. Let me hit this. But yeah, he had seizures. Seizures. Hit the weed once. Can't talk. Goddamn. So, he starts to have one as I'm starting to trip. He's, he's, his body is seizing up. He's standing up right now. He's seizing up. He's shaking. He's telling us like, Hey, y'all don't tell nobody. Don't say nothing because they going to drug test me. And, you know, he smoked bud. They going to drug test me. And yada, yada. I ain't telling you it was a job. And so motherfuckers like, all right, cool. We going to hold you down, bro. He had a homie that like went to high school with him or something that worked there too. So he kind of like, knew you know what i'm saying he was cool but i'm telling y'all as soon as he said he was having a seizure the acid fucking smacks me i'm talking i'm like 
I'm, 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 now he's on the floor. He, he's like turning blue in the face and like, we're like surrounding him. So the supervisors don't see this shit. Now I'm, now I'm on, now the acid is in overdrive. My brain is going a thousand miles. I'm like, shit, he about to die. I'm watching this nigga die right now, especially cause he was like turning blue. I'm, he's dying. Now I'm not saying nothing. Now, if you ever been on acid heavy, then you, like, you know. How, like, you, you be, like, one to save some shit, but you can't, or, you know what I'm saying? So, I, my mind is going a thousand miles, and, and like, and, like, I'm getting sad, because, like, I know this man is having a seizure, and there's nothing, I, I can't help, I can't do shit, and I just start backing up slow, backing up, scared as hell, I'm like, shit, man, motherfuckers are gonna see us in a circle, if they don't see him, they gonna think motherfuckers over here fighting or something, like, we in high school, like, I'm thinking all oh, type of shit, man. I'm talking about the acid is in overdrive. Drop clutch. Holy fucking shit. God. Duh. Yeah. I had seen somebody die at a job, at a previous job before that. So, like, I'm all, so that shit going through my head, too. And... Never again. After that day, I never, I ain't never been. I, I smoked some weed before work. I smoked some weed during work, but none of that shit no more. Cause you can't control what happens around you. Even if you good on the shit, I used to, I used to take 15, 10, 15 hits of ass at a time. Be cool. Motherfuckers wouldn't even know that I'm tripping unless I told you. But man, you can't control other shit around you, man. And some shit like that. That shit was serious, man. I was scared for that, man. He had me scared, bro. I had I came back to work the next day. I apologized to him. I'm like, bro, I am so fucking sorry, dog. I'm sorry I just I just backed away, dog. Dad. He was like, nah, bro, it's cool, man. Nah, you good, bro. I know that you was fucked up, bro. Like he was he was feeling sympathetic for me. He was like, shit, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry that that shit happened while you was feeling like that. I'm like, nah, bro, fuck that, nigga. <laughs> like, you the one that was fucked up, bro. That's my dog, though, man. Shout out my boy. I hope he's still doing good, man. I ain't heard from him in a minute, you know. Bouncing jobs, you know. You lose contact with people, man. But shout out my boy, man. That nigga had me scared. I never fuck around and do that shit no more. Ooh-wee. God damn. Let me know if y'all ever had some shit like that. If y'all have been fucked up at work, seen somebody fucked up at work. I really want to know if y'all been fucked up so I can hear y'all's stories. You know what I'm saying? But the being safe though. Don't be telling me no wild ass, dangerous ass shit now. Don't don't come over here wild. But if y'all been tuned in into this video this long, man, I wanna thank y'all, man. You know, for the support that I've been getting. You know, my eleven subscribers. I see y'all. Shout out to y'all. Fuck with y'all, man. I let your boy be prez. Peace.